The PlayStation 3 didn't exactly get off to a great start, but the console's library steadily grew to include a number of cross-platform and exclusive games that would not only define the PS3, but cement Sony's brand as the home of great PlayStation exclusive games. With that in mind, today I brought you the best PS3 games of all time. Batman blew the doors off what the Arkham franchise could be, extending out beyond the confines of its prior though still fantastic first entry, Arkham Asylum, for a larger, engrossing sequel. Batman Arkham City not only takes a more is better approach, but finds genuinely surprising and delightful ways to pull in various characters from the Batman mythos into one incredible adventure. Retaining the core combat, exploration, and stellar voice cast of Asylum, City finds inventive new ways to throw harrowing challenges in Batman's path, with a host of incredible villain side mission storylines, a more varied overworld, and a deeper, moving story as Kevin Conroy's Batman and Mark Hamill's Joker pick up their showdown from the first game. In nearly every way, Arkham City cemented Rocksteady's take on the Dark Knight. The God of War original trilogy ends with this PS3 release, pitting Kratos against the gods of Olympus one last time. The result is a proper follow-up to the PS2 and PSP entries, complete with improved graphics, gameplay, and set pieces. God of War 3 expands the scope of the series' mythology, once again pitting the God of War against titans, gods, and mythical creatures pulled straight from Grecian mythology. SIE Santa Monica is not shy with the series' staple gore and violence, ensuring that the Spartan warrior is coated in a thick layer of his enemy's blood by the game's final act. God of War 3 is the original conclusion to Kratos' story that he deserves and has been fighting for. While we could cut, pound, and rip through Kratos' foe forever, the game was a monumental experience that, once played, is impossible to forget. From stunning visuals to incredible boss battles, God of War 3 delivers an ending befitting the ghost of Sparta. When Burnout Paradise came out, multi-platform games were always better on Xbox 360. Not so this. Criterion always made PS2 sing and PS3's Burnout Paradise still looks sensational. It revised the Burnout Formula 2, combining an open-world city and surrounding countryside to race around which resulted in one of the best racing games. It's in the little things, like trying to handbrake turn your car into a parking space, for which it grades you, or trying to leap down the side of a mountain and land without totaling your car. DLC patches even fixed the few annoyances in the original release's structure, meaning this truly is a Burnout-themed paradise. Great soundtrack, too. Fighting games were in a rough place prior to 2009, but Street Fighter 4 brought the series back to the roots of its popularity, including the more popular cast from Street Fighter 2. Its highly stylized art style proved odd but ultimately appealing, and its online play was serviceable enough that the genre no longer felt like a total non-starter. It was the genre's bedrock game through the release of Ultra Street Fighter 4, which most consider to be Street Fighter 4's apex due to its large roster and strong balance. Its influence has since waned, but it is inarguably one of the most important games in the genre's history, and still one of the PS3's best games. While the series may not have the same level of love that it once had, Infamous 2 stands out as a triumph of a game that set the blueprint for many of the games you enjoy today. Following Cole McGrath as he continues his superpowered adventures in a bleak world, the game is anything but typical. With a morality system included in the game, you have the ability to experience two sides of a story depending on how you think Cole should react to different situations. This game made having lightning powers cool, and that's never a bad thing. In a not-too-distant future, Deus Ex, Human Revolution sets up a world where human augmentation is commonplace. At the forefront of the latest stories in the Deus Ex series is Adam Jensen, a former chief of security forced to undergo augmentation after being left for dead. When a squad of augmented terrorists known as the Tyrants crash a party for Seraph Industries' latest augmentation, Jensen finds himself at the center of a conspiracy that will force him to choose sides. Utilizing the latest in augmentation technology, Jensen can literally turn himself into a super soldier. Deus Ex, Human Revolution allows players to tackle the game as they wish, either as a gun-toting action hero or a stealth operative that relies on cunning and technology to outsmart his enemies. The ability to choose between augmentations allows players to craft their own story as they guide Jensen through a world divided by the very augments that keeps him alive. Old Snake may have a creaky back and snarl even more than he used to, but he's still got it where it counts. 
MGS4 is still a technical showcase for PS4 and one of the best stealth games, just as MGS2 was for PS2 before it, but, crucially, it uses the advancements in technology to better its gameplay. The camouflage suit, in particular, is not only fun to use, but useful in the tense stealth situations you find yourself in. You could criticize Kojima and his team for making the storyline too complex and movie-like, especially in terms of the length of its cutscenes, but the cast of characters and bosses are all memorable, and there's no denying the drama at the game's conclusion. However, had one scene, in particular, ended the other way, this would likely be even higher up this list. Still essential gaming if you own a PS3. The pinnacle of Naughty Dog's Uncharted PS3 trilogy, Uncharted 2 set the benchmark that the studio, and much of the industry's blockbuster action adventures, would strive for. Uncharted 2 is perhaps best remembered for its handful of unforgettable moments, that opening as Nathan Drake escapes a teetering train, a blowout shoot M up in the midst of a collapsing tower, and a dazzling moving train sequence that still ranks among the genre's best. But Uncharted 2 also cemented the series' beloved characters, even if Nate kills a lot of people. His relationships with Elena and Sully are more fully explored, and Chloe Fraser, one of the franchise's best characters, is introduced. The marriage of action and character moments, including the introduction of series highlight Chloe Fraser, cemented Naughty Dog's knack for cinematic storytelling on a level that only the developer itself would eclipse during the PS3's life. What might just be the greatest fantasy RPG experience out there had to be on this list. Skyrim revolutionized what an open-world RPG could be, offering you a massive fantasy world with endless sights to see and quests to find. The adventure was yours to choose, being able to adventure around to your heart's content or take on the epic main adventure. You likely still avidly play the game to this day, considering it often gets released and re-released on each new console that comes out. Everything in Mass Effect 2 is a delight to experience. It kicks off with a balls to start, essentially killing off Shepard and ripping the Normandy to pieces. The remainder is about rebuilding and redemption, as you cobble together a lovable crew of misfits to tackle a heroic suicide mission. The overarching story provides the pace and structure, while the more personal stories on board the Normandy, MK2, pull you in different emotional directions. Do you side with Miranda or Jack? The Gaff or the Quarians? Can you save your crew from the Collectors? Who, if anyone, will you sacrifice in the suicide mission? While many games give players choices, few offer the same level of involvement with the plot, thereby adding immense weight to the decisions you make. It all adds up to a wonderful, self-contained story that truly conveys the highs and lows of being the hero. It's almost a secondary concern that the RPG-slash-shooter gameplay is slick and pleasing to tinker with, or that the game looks amazing and offers incredible scale. Mass Effect 2 remains one of the best RPGs of all time. Since 2002, Insomniac Games' Ratchet & Clank series has been a strong, lasting staple of PlayStation's franchises. Though it debuted on the PS2, the series saw six new entries during the PS3 era, and for our bolts, A Crack in Time is the best Ratchet & Clank game released on PS3. While the formula for the series roughly remained the same, A Crack in Time brings with it a moving story and some great gameplay additions that make for one of the franchise's best outings. The ability to experiment with new parts to customize your weapons and the addition of hover boots add a lot more mechanical depth to the combat and exploration. Add on top of that a moving story that really digs into why the titular duo is so enduring and has endured for so long and a crack in time delivers one of the best action games on the PS3. From the moment it begins, Wolfenstein, the New Order screams with howling intensity and purpose. The series has never dabbled in subtlety, and that's no different here. You're still BJ Blazkowicz, you're still Nazi Hunter Supreme, and you're still ruthlessly efficient at your job. But what should be a mindless shooter suddenly finds itself examining the human cost of endless war and soul-crushing fascism, and thanks to the team at Machine Games, it's pretty good at doing both. You'll come for the dual-wielding MP40s and old-school action, but you'll stay for the branching narrative and fleshed-out characters. Oh, and you'll shoot Nazis on the moon! Come on now, that fact alone makes it one of the best FPS games of the generation. With the possible exception of Minecraft, no other console game nurtures the imaginations and creativity of its players like Little Big Planet 2. The first game's user content creation tools were a revolution in player freedom, and the sequel not only refines these options, but expands them to allow you, yes, you to create not only fresh levels, but whole new stories, worlds, and even games. And the stuff the community has created is unbelievable. 
No, Little Big Planet 2 doesn't have as sophisticated a platforming system as the Marios and Raymonds of this world, it's still heaps of fun, regardless, but to judge the game on these terms is as short-sighted as dismissing War and Peace because you don't like the font it's printed in. Simply put, this is one of the most important, relevant, and entertaining games on any PlayStation. There are, what, 400 Assassin's Creed games out there, yet somehow the second in the series, which released in 2009 and fixed many of the issues of its predecessor, remains not only the best in the series, but one of the best games on the PS3. Ubisoft had many opportunities to recreate the awe and wonder of Assassin's Creed 2, but it hasn't quite hit the mark yet. Ezio Auditore de Firenze, ancestor of the series' original protagonist, Desmond Miles, has remained an icon of the Assassin's Guild. Ever since Assassin's Creed 2, his name has popped up frequently, especially among fan murmuring with every subsequent new release. The stars aligned for Assassin's Creed 2, which was the perfect mix of action, parkour, exploration, and story. Even with more recent titles that deviated from the series' core format, the second game remains at the top. The expansive world and bounty of side quests made it difficult not to fall in love with Ezio's adventure, which felt like the first real introduction to the skills of the assassins. Set during the Renaissance, the cast was rounded off with historic faces like Leonardo da Vinci and Niccolò Machiavelli, which added just another fun quirk to an already great game. It feels fitting that the PS3's best game arrived towards the end of its life. Arguably a culmination of everything that AAA gaming grew to be over the course of the last generation, it's a masterpiece of affecting, mature storytelling and ingenious, gameplay-driven narrative, one that uses the graphical power of a fully mastered console as much for emotional resonance as for visual impact. Dropping the player into a beautifully realized, nuanced, all-too-believable nightmare world, The Last of Us provides the tools to survive, but wisely never the means to launch a truly empowered fight back. Every encounter and achievement in the game matters, not because of prescribed spectacle or contrived, cartoon heroism, but because of the need for the player to bring their own instincts and wits to the table. It's a perfect game, from a first-party Sony developer at the peak of its ability, so far, and something that no owner of a PlayStation 3 has any right to miss. Truly, the full stop at the end of the generation. Rockstar Games sets a new bar when it comes to open-world games with each new release, and GTA V is no exception. With a massive, beautiful open world littered with things to do, GTA V's three protagonist storyline lets you explore every facet of that world and engage in some incredible missions, while also never preventing you from roaming around, crashing cars, and hunting for Bigfoot through Los Santos. And that doesn't even begin to recount the extremely robust GTA Online mode which continues to receive frequent updates and deliver on the type of deep sandbox experience Rockstar continues to set the high standards for. And I know Cooney Wrath of the White which was an absolute smash hit amongst JRPG fans. Honestly, after a rough generation for the genre, it ended up defining JRPGs for PS3 players everywhere. The sensation of besting in I know Cooney and unlocking the Platinum Trophy is a feeling of pure accomplishment. Make no bones about it though. This is the PS3's JRPG crown jewel forged by a collaboration between Studio Ghibli and Level 5. Explore a vibrant world in Nai no Kuni with a cast of eccentric and lively characters, some of which will even venture around the world with you as you try and save your mother. Befriend and capture the many magical creatures roaming the lands and utilize them in real-time Pokemon battles to squish your foes, sometimes literally, as you level up and gear up to face down Shadar, the big bad boss. Plus, you know, Talking Lamp Drippy is a Welshman, and Editor Kess needs to shout out his fellow countrymen. Whatever you think of COD's current state, there's no denying that Modern Warfare was a watershed moment for games. Not only did it revive the tired FPS genre and transform Call of Duty from OK Shooter into OMG Shooter, it set a benchmark for multiplayer gaming and provided an incredible, 8-hour roller coaster of a story that few have matched since. The Ghillie Suit stage, the opening scenes on the tanker, that ending Modern Warfare is stuffed full of memorable moments. And guess what? It has aged really well. While subsequent Call of Duty games have attempted to build on modern warfare, making the action ever more bombastic, this stands as an exercise in stripped-back, streamlined entertainment. There's no fluff here, just 8 hours of smooth FPS action that still outclasses all its imitators, and it's still considered to be one of the best online games ever made.
Dark Souls was not the first Soulsborne game to come to PS3. That honor belongs to 2009's Demon Souls. From Software's next Soulsborne became a runaway hit that helped spawn a successful franchise and more widespread success. Yes, it retains the brutal difficulty of Demon Souls, but its impeccable level design, allowing players to venture to and die in many varied spots throughout the Kingdom of Lord Ran, is a marvel to look back on and explore to this day. Add to that the fundamentals of the Dark Souls combat and progression systems that would become bedrocks of the trilogy, and a stellar lineup of boss fights that are still some of the most memorable in the series, and Dark Souls wasn't just a great blueprint for what would follow, it was an unforgettable adventure in its own right. So, did you like the games I recommended? So leave your like, subscribe to the channel to follow me and activate the bell because I post a lot of videos on this channel and you can't miss it. I would like to remind you that in the description we have a list of different products that can make your gaming experience much better. If you want to buy, the link will be in the description. Anyway, thank you very much for following me this far and until next time, bye.